wobbly, contradictory way of living, it gotta end. It gotta end. You gotta be a realist about life. You gotta be a realist about you, what you like, and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody cares. At the end of the day, nobody cares. You know, your life is your life, man. You do what you do for you, and you do it your way. If you like it, I love it. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody and if somebody don't love it, F them. You know what I'm saying? If you like it and somebody don't love it, for you, F them. But if you like it, I love it for you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it, it's your world. But you gotta be consistent, you gotta be honest with yourself. You gotta stop worrying about the outside world. Live your life for you. It's time to be selfish in 2023. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Did Shorty just say she double dribble? I thought you dudes were opposed to women like this. What is the purpose of going overseas if all you're going to do is get a freak? This dude, this other dude, Yasha, Yasha Brazil, whatever you call yourself, right? Can't think of the name right now, but he's another brother down in Brazil. And he talk about how he traveled to have sex. Hey, man, when I'm in America in the States, I'm just in the States, but when I want to have sex, I go, I go to other countries. So you go way to another country to have sex. And y'all are listening to these kinds of men, and I just don't understand why. Why? You are a messed up man if you can't survive in the environment that you are in. That's what it means to be a man. You learn to survive in the environment in which you are in. A man don't run from the environment. A man conquers the environment. A man makes the environment submit to him. He learns how, how things work and he gets ahead of it so he can control it. But anyway, my point is, I posed a simple question about the girl's body count. I'm like, where do you think she learned these skills at? Gag reflex, you know, for a girl to made a deep throat and not gag, that takes a long time of practice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of practice. So that means she spent a lot of time with a piece of meat in her mouth practicing on how to shove it all down her throat. Now, I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. More power to it. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, so you are bragging about that, but if they had a sister in America that posted a video saying the exact same thing, all you do is have a problem with it. That's called a double standard, my brothers. Let a black woman, let Cardi B say something like that. All y'all got a problem with. Let some, let some random chick on TikTok, on Instagram, black chick especially, say something like that. All y'all, she's gonna go viral for saying that and it's gonna be all negative. But my point was, if you want a freak, you got freaks in the United States. I thought you was going, I thought the passport bro thing was all about going getting a better class, a better quality of woman. Because if that's not what it's about, then what's the point of it? So what you are saying is that you really want a freak that's gonna be your freak. You want a freak that's gonna treat you like you king. That's what you're saying. So the problem you have in the States is that you can't get these Instagram thought type women to deal with you in a certain way and you're mad. 
because that's really what you want. You want these freaks, you want these, these types of women, but you want them to be your freak. But then you pretend like you got a problem with their history, but this girl talking about she got gag reflex. You don't know, brothers, I don't know if y'all realize this, but that's not an easy skill to learn. You got women that are in their 60s that have been sucking D their whole life since they were 14, 13 years old, and they can't do that. That is not an easy skill. That skill she's bragging on takes a whole lot of determination. You know, it's like smoking. You know, when you first start smoking, your body rejects the smoke over and over, choke you to death, almost kill you. You go oh, 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 coughing and patting the ground. Your body do anything it can to stop that smoke from going down. It rejects it violently. But you condition yourself over time to get used to it. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going until your body just say, okay, I'm gonna let it come in. Then you get this dude that comment on me. Cause I'm asking a question about, you know, y'all y'all don't seem to be worried about her body count, right? So he, he talking about, it's called accountability. She's responsible for her actions, not some passport movement. Furthermore, Fred said, Fred has said from day one that he is not a passport bro and he doesn't identify with that movement, he's his own man. Take this beta male energy to a different channel, pandering ass simple. Now, let's look at this dude calling himself artificial intelligence, but let me know right there, he don't like being human. He hates his life, his life sucks, right? So anyway, the funny thing is, I never accused the channel owner of being a passport group. He's the one that grabbed his passport. He's the one that picked up his passport. He's the one that showed his passport. He did that. I never accused him of being a passport, bro. He did that. What is he saying? That we need to get passports so we can get a girl that deep throat? I can get that right here. I don't need a passport for that, bro. What's the point of going overseas to get this kind of woman? I don't get it. And I don't get it. I'm not even being funny. You know, the crazy thing is that I'm not even being funny. I, 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 the first comment, I didn't go at nobody. I didn't attack nobody. I just posed simple questions. I made it clear that I didn't really care either way. But I'm just curious. And then he called me pandering. I don't pander to nobody. In fact, my channel struggles because I refuse to pander to you dudes. Anthony Spade Reactions just did a video and I tell you, I, I, he's not my kind of dude either, but he cooked on that one. He was talking about why Red Pill is going to die off. And what he was saying was, the space is full of people that targeted the weakness of men because it's profitable. That these men are hurting. He said it right. I truly believe that these dudes are starting to listen to my videos. You gotta understand, what you see on the front end is not what I see on the back end on my analytics. My channel has had over 25,000 in, individual views. People are coming through. Then you got also impressions that are not even counted. The impressions are the people that scan and scrolling through, and when your video come up, they'll watch it right there, but they never click it, but they'll watch it. So people are watching without clicking. But the point is, I believe that these dudes, that these people are listening to my content because I was saying the exact same thing, how they're targeting hurt men. I heard no one saying that before me. I've heard, I, I listened to all of these channels. For, for months, if not years, before I did my own channel. Because again, they are part of the reason why I decided to come out and do a channel. Because I'm tired of seeing brothers being misled. This is called the Black Alpha for a reason. See, beta is not nowhere in there. I am not a beta simp, bro, you know what I'm saying? I don't move like a simp in my personal life. Nobody plays with me in my personal life. Women don't play with me in my personal life. I have no simp ways in my body, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm only pointing out the inconsistencies of your belief system. That you will sit online while this dude brag up, put up his little passport, like, go get your passport, brothers, you know what I'm saying? Because this is what you're gonna get. But you can get that right here. Or maybe you can't. 
I can. In fact, the other dude, Yashua Israel, whatever he called himself, I haven't seen him with nothing in Brazil that I haven't dated here in America. I'm talking about the look-wise and type-wise. I haven't seen him with anything. And most of the women that he's taking pictures with, he don't even mess with. He just take pictures of these women. You know, he, he approached me because you can see he don't really know these women. He tell by the way he do it. He don't really know these women. He just kind of get, get them on camera with him, you know what I'm saying? He don't know these women. But I mean, it doesn't matter, man, because I don't really care because y'all dudes ain't touching nothing that I haven't already touched a thousand times already. You're not doing nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? You're not impressing me. Maybe you're impressing dudes like artificial intelligence, but you're not impressing me. But anyway, to call me a panda and a simp, man, a beta, it's crazy. It just shows you how these men think. These men are so messed up. They're in such a dark space. They're in such a dark place in their life that they just get angry at anything. And that's what Anthony Spade was talking about. So my brothers, look, I don't care about what y'all do, man. You move how you move. But you gotta be more consistent with how you see things and judge things in 2023. This wobbly, contradictory way of living, it gotta end. It gotta end. You gotta be a realist about life. You gotta be a realist about you, what you like, and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody cares. At the end of the day, nobody cares. You know, your life is your life, man. You do what you do for you, and you do it your way. If you like it, I love it. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody, and if somebody don't love it, F them. You know what I'm saying? If you like it and somebody don't love it, for you, F them. But if you like it, I love it for you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's your world. But you got to be consistent. You got to be honest with yourself. You got to stop worrying about the outside world. Live your life for you. It's time to be selfish in 2023. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. So long.